bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O fear the Lord, you his saints. For those who fear him have no lack. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Psalm 34. Lord, we know that you are the way through this crazy life that we live, and so we turn to you right now, just wanting to give you praise, just wanting to lift your name high, because you are worthy, Lord.
only cure for everything I feel within. Redeeming what was lost and all that could have been. Oh, this is a healing kind of love.
Amen, Lord. We are just so grateful today that we don't have to be strong on our own, that we have you to count on and to rely on. This is um, scripture from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. That he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And Lord, we just want to lift you up right now. We want to put your name above all else. Lord, I just, I surrender everything to you. Because you're the only one who can handle it. You're the only one who can fix my mess.
Yeah. 